Hey guys, Dan Heilman here. We are back with another Rage of Destiny video. I just want to go through the, no, the new hero here. Um, we have this new event here, the King's, whatever it was called, the King's Army. So seven day login. I like how they do this. They just give you the hero after seven days. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I will go through his kit and see what I think of him. And I have a copy of him already in Dragon's Den. So we're going to play out with play with him as well and see how he is we also have uh realm of illusion ends in two days just as a heads up and we have a brand new eternal battleground uh crimson canyons oh i never even finished molten glacier so one of these days i'll go make a guide for that if i have some time been super busy lately with uh work and um the new game awaken chaos there i've been as you guys see i've been making lots of content so okay let's go look at the new hero album got a new little dwarf man here all right, so first of all, he is Holy Empire. He is a strength type. He's a tank. And it says his primary role is shielding, which is weird because I don't think he has a shield. Anyways, all right, so Rector's skin turns into diamond, granting him immunity against magic damage and recovers 4% max HP every second. So this guy has a lot of immunity towards magic damage. So he might be a good unit if you are um, fighting a lot of mages. Or magic damage. Okay, so it when it scales up, he gets more HP regen and gains immunity to control effects. That's his ultimate. All right, his uh, his first ability here: change, charge forward, knocking back enemies. So he has a little bit of CC. I wonder how long they're knocked over for. It'll be interesting. Deals 200% attack damage, um, gains immunity against control effects while charging. So this is an AOE hit, knocks enemies over and does some damage. Uh, damage gets increased. He also gains a shield that absorbs attack damage, 70% um, of his attack damage for up to 8 seconds. Also reduces magic damage taken while the shield's up, and the damage gets increased at level 4. Um, second skill here, protects you and your allies when the battle begins. Halo effects will be triggered based on enemy lineups. So what this does is, basically if they have a lot of physical damage heroes, then you get a physical damage shield that reduces damage taken by 15, 20, and 25%, depending on the level. Or if they have more magic heroes, then you get the same thing. It seems like this is just active always. We'll try that out once we try out the unit, but it doesn't say a time on there, so maybe it's just always. Uh, inherit the legacy of the Mountain King. Increase magic damage reduction by 25% during battles. So this is just a passive, it looks like. Uh, change chance of temporarily reducing attacker's haste when receiving magic damage. And it does, it gets bigger. Okay, so that's interesting. So he's got a lot of passive magic damage reduction. Um, I think that shield might last the entire round. So we're going to go check that out and see what we got going on here. It seems like a support unit uh, with a little CC. I don't know if he's going to hit hard. But I got a copy of him in Dragon's Den. So let's go check it out. Alright. I'll put him in as my fifth unit right in here and let's see what he does all right so there's a charge he did a little bit of damage you can see the bubble on everyone right from the beginning and it does not look like it's gonna end All right, let's see what kind of damage he did. I'm really curious on that. Whoa, he did really good damage. <laughs> Interesting. So he shields everyone so they take less damage. He even does some healing to himself, obviously, with his ulti there. And interesting. He did more damage than my Paulus somehow. All right, maybe he is a good damage dealer, guys. Let's uh, do a couple more fights here. All right, so the enemy team is mostly physical damage, I guess, because these three are physical. Um, I think he might be physical as well. So I should get a physical damage shield right from the beginning, and it should last the whole battle, it looks like. There's the shield. See, I don't know. I can't tell if that's Sierra's shield. Maybe it doesn't show up. Yeah, I think that was Sierra's shield. I don't really see a, a visual for his 
damage reduction. Maybe it's just a, a passive thing that happens. Again, he did solid damage. Wow, he looks like a good damage dealer. He might be a pretty solid unit to use as damage dealer. He's got a little bit of support. Um, I can't really see if it's triggering or not, but uh, yeah. I guess he's level 300, so he is higher level than my Paulus. So maybe that's why his damage is a little bit higher. But that ate, that uh, ulti hit, it went right through those two units and hit pretty damn hard. Look at him, he just flies all over using that thing. <laughs> pretty cool unit. I mean, he's just sprinting all over the map and doing crazy stuff. Let's check damage again. All right. My Paulus beat him that time, but he still did decent damage. Kelly did some damage somehow. It's hard to tell when you're using a mercenary because it's not your unit, so... I don't know, it's just hard to tell, especially because he's a little bit higher level, so I don't know how he's going to be if he was the same level as my team here. We'll do a couple more battles for you guys and just uh, show his damage. Here, we're facing an enemy one. We'll see his damage. This will be a good comparison because the enemy, they're all the same level. So let's see how much of theirs does to my team. I like him because he's holy, and I use two holy units always, so he's a third that would give me a... Yeah, he did solid damage. Alright, let's look at theirs. Theirs did nothing. What's up with that? Hmm. Alright, let's try uh, this purple one here with the tanky boy. Alright, so they're all physical, so he should reduce my physical damage taken. Can't tell if he's doing that, because I don't see any sort of a... Can we see debuffs in this game? No, we can't. He seems cool charging around all, all crazy like. He just got huge. Look at that. He hits hard. I mean, every hit he's hitting for 20, 30,000. Did you see how he charged back and forth through that unit? It looks like he can charge and continue doing damage. Again, he did more damage than my Paulus. He's 30 levels higher. I don't know how much that affects his damage. I feel like that might be affecting his damage. <laughs> uh, we'll grab that. Alright, let's do one more for you guys, and then I'll probably end up the video here. I don't want it to be too long. I, I like his animations. I mean, he's cool. He just prances around on his horse. He gets all huge and just beats people with his hammer. <laughs> I don't know what that ulti was about. He just went ran away from everyone. Again, he's... I mean, he's doing more damage than my Paulus, but I don't know if it's the 30 level difference there. I think he's going to be better on single target especially uh, than Paulus. But, all right, that's it for the floor. I don't want to spend too much time in here. Can I go look at that unit? Let's see if I can look at that unit. See what kind of gear and stuff he's got on him. All right, so he has all T1 gear, but it's not upgraded. He's, um, his exclusive isn't upgraded. He's got, curious how much stats that compares to my other ones. Um, 128,000 attack. If I look at Paulus, what does Paulus got for attack? 128,000. Yeah, so he's got a lot more attack than my Paulus. Maybe it's just the levels making him uh, do that amount of damage there. But, okay. That's it for the unit here. Dwarf King, whatever his name is. Uh, hope you guys like the video. I don't want to spend too long on it, but uh, it looks like a decent hero. Um, got a little bit of CC. Knocks people over. He's got some support by uh, making everyone in your team take less damage. And he seems to do pretty solid damage, so... Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Get on there, smash the like button, sub to the channel. Thank you so much for the support. I'll be making more Awakened Chaos Era and more Rage of Destiny videos. So if you like those two games, sub to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks, guys, and have a good one. See ya.